gosh. I should have known this was a bad idea. Okay, I'm putting my, should I silence my phone? No, it's okay, it's in the library. Okay, I can do it then. Can I eat my nuts? Yes, you can eat nuts. Salt and peanuts, they're good for you. Non-spawn. <laughs> Hashtag not spawn. <laughs> That. I'm looking at you! I'm not, not nervous, I'm not <laughs> So, this is my friend Sean. He's never been on my channel before, but if you follow me on Snapchat or Instagram or Facebook or anything, then clearly we know each other. So today we're doing a fun thing called Real or Fake News. I'm gonna read Sean some headlines, and he's gonna have to guess if it's a real headline or a fake headline. We'll just see how smart and intuitive he is at my games. Before we go any further, a lot of my news comes from Facebook. Because I don't have All TV. All of these came from Facebook. Well, I don't have TV, so. Well, none of these are headlines that I, like, I got them all off the internet. Perfect. Let's just jump into it. Hashtag Phil Franco. <laughs> Your first headline, man gets ticket for leaving car running in his own driveway. It's gotta be fake news. Can't get a ticket in your own driveway. That's your final answer. Yes. That is a real headline. The article says he got a ticket for leaving his car running to warm up. It was like, there's a whole video on here, but it was like, you're not allowed to leave it unattended with the keys in it in the state, in like Michigan or whatever. It was probably like six foot of snow outside. It's probably why he right. left it running. But this is real news. I already hate this game. <laughs> Cinnamon roll can explodes inside man's butt during shoplifting incident. That's gotta be fake news. It's fake news. <laughs> can you imagine? Just imagine. I can't you imagine. work at a nondescript superstore that you can try to imagine. But I can't imagine someone shoving a cinnamon roll can up their bum. Some of them are skinning. True. You get the one that's only got like a few, like four or five in it. That's not to say I don't see crazy stuff. <laughs> Nondescript superstore. The company Mars Bars is investigating Skittles in feeding cattle. That's gotta be fake. It's real news. I'm just gonna flip flop here because I've only got one right. <laughs> just reading them in the order I had them written down. <laughs> the Skittles on the ground did not have the letter S on them. They're feeding them. The shitty ones, the cattle. <laughs> Tiny moth named for Donald Trump. Fake news. It's real news. <laughs> <laughs> they found this moth, and it, the way it's like fur is, it has like his hair, and so they named it Donald Trump, basically. <laughs> That's all he needs. <laughs> Another thing to boost his ego. <laughs> Who wore better, him or the moth? <laughs> the moth, definitely <laughs> the moth. <laughs> Pi flies sky high for science experiment. Fake news? It's real news. There you go, kid. Just answer the same thing. You're bound to get it right eventually. God. How many is that so far? I have no idea. <laughs> I'll have to go through here and check. Woman arrested for defecating on boss's desk after winning the lottery. That's probably true. No, it's fake. You're not doing very good, Sean. I, <laughs> I don't like this game. Man shoots off his own penis taking selfies with gun. That's probably true. No, it's fake. Fake news! <laughs> Let's start over. Nope. And then I'll answer the right ones. So then I'll see smart. And your last headline. This is to win the game, Sean. This one is worth a lot of points, okay? If you get this one right, you win. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Girl infects 586 men with HIV on purpose, plans on infesting 2,000 more before 2017 ends. That's probably true. It is fake news. So as we saw, Sean does not know news, 
and he hates to lose, so I know he's just like welling up inside of him. We were actually talking about you. I was talking to dad. We were talking about your gambling addiction. I'm not addicted to gambling. We were talking about how you've been trying to get us to go to the horse races and gamble with you. And <laughs> well, it's not a gamble. <laughs> Point in case. So then That's I not gambling. told no, my dad gambling. how you'll bring your stupid poker set over here with the wheels on it and like like a suitcase. I got it in my trunk. And he he gets Justin to play poker with him, and then he tries to convince him to bet him actual money. And I'm like, boy, no, we broke. Just you play with your damn chips. And Justin's like, I win every time. But I try to explain to Justin that Sean's doing that to convince him to use the real money, and then he's gonna whoop his ass. I know, Sean. <laughs> Sean wouldn't play the cards that way. Why did I refer to myself as a third person? What just happened? But anyways, this was fun. Thank you for coming. I've forgotten my outro because it's been so long since I did a video. Um, but you'll see Sean again. We're about to film a couple more videos and... Two more videos and beyond! Alright, new outro. Thanks, Sean. Two more videos and beyond.